Today I continue learning an English uh, via another clip from France. <clears throat> In this clip, uh, the clip discussed about the situation that Phoebe wants to do massage for Monica. But Monica is kind of self-conscious because she thinks that Phoebe is her friend and the fact that she is naked in front of her friends is kind of weird. So she tries to set up a ask Chandler to pick up stamp, do some errands and, and don't let Phoebe in. And she asks a mas <clears throat> um, mashu uh, to come home and do massage for her. And but Phoebe caught her and uh, they kind of Phoebe was very upset and she tries to compare like, oh, you know, <clears throat> I'm a professional. And um, what do you think when you cannot share your cooking and Ross cannot teach us about dragons, but in reality, it should be dinosaurs. So <clears throat> and, and at the end of the clip, uh, Monica agrees for Phoebe to do massage for her. And at the end of the, of the clip, she makes so weird noise that she really enjoy that massage, like a sex noise. So let's dive into the clip and study. <clears throat> Monica says noises learn English with friends in chicken, self-conscious. These two words I will uh, try to link to the other clips and study more. Phoebe, you kind of caught me at a bad time. You asked an intriguing question, Shayla Bing. By stems, become dry cleaning to let someone in means to allow a person to enter a place. I can't believe this. How long has this been going on? To go on here means to happen. This, the question, how long has this been going on, could be rephrased as how long has this been happening? Here, Phoebe barely pronounced the H in the word has. Also, the second G in going is dropped and it leads to going on, go on, going on, going on, going on. Also, the, so the whole sentence is like, how long is, how long is this, how long is how long how long just been this been going on? How long has been going on? How long has been going on? Phoebe, don't get upset. To be upset means to feel sad, annoyed, or disappointed by what someone did, or uh, for not having a situation happen the way you want it. Well, I thought I yeah, what the hell? We use the phrase I thought I to indicate that we had other plans or intentions uh, that are different from what someone is asking to do. In which situations can we use the phrases, what the hell, choose or that apply. So all of them are good. Dismiss what we original plan and decided to do something else. Want to express strong shock or surprise. Want to know what is going on or why a situation is occurring. What the hell is an informal phrase that can be used to say that our original plan is not so important and that we decide to do something else instead. Shayla had original thought of doing something, but when then when Phoebe asked him to come with her, he says, what the hell, and follows her. Common questions with what the hell include, what the hell is that? What the hell is going on? What the hell were you thinking? Why won't you, why won't you let me massage you? Why won't you let me massage you? The letter T in the words want and let is chopped and the phrase is spoken continuously and as if it was one big sound. Why won't you let me? Why won't you let me? Why won't you let me? We can think of the pronunciation of this phrase as something like, why won't you let me? Why won't you let me? Uh, whereas, I mean, I would just, I'd be self-conscious. When you are self-conscious, you worry too much about what other people will think or speak of you. It's usually associated with feeling shy or embarrassed. Just give me a chance, okay, please. The word give me, sound like give me, so we can clearly hear, just give me a chance. Just give, just give me a chance. Also the article uh, here is pronounced as a swa sound, so we barely hear it as said well. Just give me a chance, just, just give me a chance. Okay, if it means that much to you, it does. 
when something means that or so much to you, it is very important to you. So you can also say that something means a lot to you. Potato, 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 potato. We say potato, potato to mean that two things are not so different from each other or that it really doesn't make a difference whether you choose one option or the other. Potato is actually a non existent pronunciation of this word. However, tomato, which rhymes with potato in most American accent, is pronounced as tomato in British English. The full expression is tomato, tomato, potato, potato. How's the pressure? We also have a common phrase in English, which is to be under pressure. To be under pressure means to be under a lot of stress and feeling tense or worried. Stating the obvious, but thank you. To say the obvious means to say something that everyone knows to be true. Which word is closest close in meaning to the adjective upset, angry? Phoebe here says potato, potato, because the difference doesn't matter to her. We use the phrase to say the obvious, to tell people what something, A, something they don't know yet, B, something they think they know, C, something they already know. So C is the correct answer. That's it.